base of a vertical pillar with uniform cross section is a trapezium whose parallel sides are of length 10 centimeters and 20 centimeters so 10 and 20 fine so this is 10 this is 20 while the other two sides are of equal length so let's say x and x the perpendicular distance between the parallel sides is 12 so this is 12 is 12 these two are equal so it's an isosceles trapezium so this should be an equal uh, sides so these two should be equal this is 12 this should be 5 this should be 5 so x is 13 this is the base we are talking about height of the pillar is 20 centimeters then the total area in square centimeters of all six surfaces of the pillar remember that the pillar erected on top of this and so that particular filler will have of as its sides four rectangles plus two trapeziums one on the top one on the bottom for the four rectangles one side will be the height the other side will be 10 20 13 and 13 and so we'll have four rectangles one measuring 10 by 20 1 measuring 20 by 20 and 2 measuring 13 by 20 so 10 by 20 area is 200 20 by 20 area is 400 13 by 20 is 260 into 2 520 so we're looking at 520 plus 200 plus 400 so one zero two zero sorry it is six plus five is eleven one one two zero this is the sum of the four rectangles so far we have not accounted for this trapezium this trapezium into two is one in what we need to account for and area of this trapezium is half into 12 into 10 plus 20 sum of the two sides right so 10 plus 20 is 30 6 into 30 180 180 into 2 so 360 the two trapeziums area would be 2 into 180 which is 360 so if we're looking to add 1120 with 360 we'll get 1480 it's a wonderful question key thing is to reimagine this diagram as a trapezium and another trapezium right on top with four rectangles sitting in between them so we're looking at four rectangles one with sides 10 and 20 one with 20 and 20 two with sides 13 and 20 on top of that we are calculating area of this trapezium multiplying it by two